All right, guys. Hey, guys. Hello, guys. And ladies and gentlemen and llamas. So, we've got a monthly knife club box, and a box this big is either one hell of an onyx or tier two, but most likely this is the ultimate box. So, we're in for some fun, aren't we? So, hey guys, I'm back. Here we go. Monthly Knife Club Ultimate for June 2024. I am, I was just gonna say, I'm just waiting for the AC unit to kick on out here because it is 90 something degrees out, but we'll make do. So, another disclaimer, as I do every time, I don't pay for this box. I pay for 99% of the stuff you see on this channel, or it is paid for and sent by cool supporters of the channel. But this is direct from Monthly Knife Club. Daryl sends this to us every month when there is an extra one. Um, or maybe he just puts one aside for us to look at, I don't know. But this is not paid for, okay? It's not a sponsored video, but this is sent by Daryl from Monthly Knife Club for our amusement, for us to look at, and for me to show you, so it benefits everybody. Let's, let's not, like, pretend. Uh, so, let's take a look at everything that we've got, and a box for Peter Kitty Cat, but he's not an outside cat, and even if he was, he wouldn't be out here in this heat. So I need to fold this so that I don't see anything that hasn't come yet this month. So we've got a tiered plan. I know most of you guys have heard this before, but somebody might be new. We've got a tiered plan here, the advanced, the premium, and the ultimate. And of course, you could subscribe to other things that, that this may, you know, there's the standard name brand, the, uh, the tier two, the Onyx. This is a, kind of alongside that, I'll say, parallel to that. So like any other tiered plan, if you get like a bigger one, you get, you know, the one that comes with it. So if you get the premium, you get the advanced, if you get the ultimate, which is what's in this box, you get everything. All prices are MSRP, by the way. So we'll take note of that. So we're gonna start right here in the advanced plan. We get the retro style knife sticker. It's worth $4, but he gives it to us for free. Name brand knives delivered every month. She's hot yet evil looking with that knife in her hand, but this is a cool different kind of sticker. I like it. It'll, I'll, I'll save it for a new board I'm making. Okay, boy, it's hot out here. So we're gonna start with the 20 ounce bullet shot glass. It's got a value of 14.95. Wild shot, load up and take off. This is a shame that I cannot do the drinking right now. I don't know if I ever will be able to again. Um, there's a company called Bin Shot that makes these, but um, this is, uh, you know, theirs are more expensive than this. And this is an actual round right here. That is, um, I don't know how they specifically do this. I guess they heat up the glass, put it in, a, you know, it's like molded in. But these are kind of cool. They're, um, it's a shot glass. You can actually drink from it. It's just kind of a cool, I, I have a huge shot glass collection. Again, all in storage, but we're working on getting that stuff out. Maybe I'll show you the whole shot glass collection one day. There's some from all around the world and all the TDYs I've ever been on. This is, I would use this. I would drink from this. I would toast from this. Maybe I'll Mountain Dew from this or something. Um, not quite knife related, but it's still kind of a cool item to have. So, okay. Next, Atwood Micro Ready Rope, $14.99. This stuff, no, I'll say it, this shit is always great. And it's got reflective stuff sewn into it. Uh, Atwood makes great cord. This little dispenser thing is great. It's got a cutter involved. The bigger one he makes for 550 cord um, has a space for a lighter on it. This has an internal storage. Um, so you could put like a little micro bic or whatever. Um, but Atwood, this ready rope, this little accessory cord is really good for tying down uh, little things or if you like, uh, say you're out of zip ties and you just need like a smaller little cord to tie stuff down. Um, it's a hundred pound test. Uh, how much do we have? 125 feet. Absolutely worth it. I love Atwood products made in the USA. Good stuff. Next, Rothko Utility Dump Pouch, $17.99. That must be this. Rothko makes decent stuff. 
Coyote, good universal color, easy to dye other colors if you want. Um, so here's your PALS webbing. You can put it with your Molly gear if you want. Oh, okay, I see. So if you wanna just keep it open and thank you, AC unit must be nice in the house right now. It is just a standard uh, dump pouch. Dump what? Whatever you have, magazines. I mean, so you would use this like if you're, listen, you don't really throw your magazines away. I've said this before, out in the field, out in combat, you don't really throw magazines away. You don't just toss them and throw them. You put them in stuff um, because you sign for your magazines and everything. Yes, you can get magazines back, but you don't just throw them. Um, but this can be whatever you're, you're dumping, brass or whatever. So it's, it's not a bad thing to have. And you can use it out in the woods and do whatever with, you know. Just carrying stuff around, collecting, I don't know, berries. Yeah, so, okay. Rothko's good quality stuff, though. Next, we've got the Titanium Dual Keychain. Which I'm assuming is this guy. If we leave this out in the sun long enough, will it anodize? I don't know. I've seen Tough Thumbs do that with Timascus. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. I'm not going to cut it out of here. But it's basically, it's a it's a, it's a two-sided carabiner. Clip it onto stuff. Clip stuff onto it. It's hot. But it is 6AL4V, so that's pretty decent uh, grade titanium. Oh, and it's got a bottle opener in the middle. Of course it does. So, what do they say the price on this is? I didn't look. I didn't look. $19.95? You can do you can do some stuff with this. That's not bad. Okay. And then finally we have in the advanced plan Gerber Highbrow Compact Onyx Knife. It's not the Onyx knife. It's not like a knife from the Onyx plan. This has an MSRP of $39.95, so we know it's overpriced because it's Gerber. Oh, good. A metal handle in the hot 90 degree sun. Awesome. Designed and engineered in Oregon, which is a fancy way to say not made in Oregon. Um, oh, it's got a spring and then it's got a little lock, but I'll tell you what. When you do that, your, your hand, when you flip it, your hand hits that lock a little bit, your finger. That's not entirely comfortable. Um, but it's all metal, so it's got weight. It's 7 CR stainless, which is, you know, the absolute minimum Chinese alphabet steel I would ever accept on a knife. Oh, but look, it's got a, look, it's got a, it's got a Lux design. But that's why it's highbrow. I don't know, it's EDC sized, but it's, that clip you definitely feel in your hand. But, so the clip is reversible left or right, which is, which is nice. Tip down. It's, uh... Mm, it's slightly off center, but there's a little bit of blade play there, so you might be able to fix that. It looks like you're going to have to take off this entire scale to get access to work on the pivot. And if it's made like this, I have a feeling you're dealing with a coil spring, but it could be a torsion bar. I don't know. No, I take that back. It's probably. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see anything in there, but let's see. Hmm. Decent, could be better. At least the bevels are nice and even. It's interesting how they give it a bolstery look. I mean, it's one solid piece of, I don't have a magnet out here. Aluminum, steel, I don't know. Uh, anodized grip is what it says. It's probably, it's probably aluminum. Uh, be nice if it opened up. Well, if it's not an auto. But. Meh. Meh. Okay. So that's everything in the advanced plan. They give it an MSRP value of 107.9083. So in the premium plan, we get everything in the advanced. But we're going to add a, what? I've never heard of that. Trevisa? Trevisa. Sounds fancy. Trevisa. Trevisa.
Well, it does have a very sparkly box. So, you know, we got that. It is the Aries. 1420, it's 14C 28N, so it's got a uh, good quality Sandvik steel blade. I like that. My Carta handle. Did it say G10 in here? No, it didn't. Okay. They give this an MSRP of $69.99. I like the box. Got an okay kind of cloth. It's got a QC pass certificate, which is nice to see. Product info, how to sharpen, how to clean, okay. Nice little pouch. And then, well, that doesn't look too bad. My cart is done pretty nice. We don't even need to oil this up to have it look nice and green. I will oil it up though. Deep carry clip, I love it. Snappy, but good retention. Reversible left or right. Be nice if they give us a filler tab, but I'm not complaining. My cart a backspacer too, no plastic or anything like that. And it's a button lock, ooh. You didn't see that, that didn't happen. Great blade shape. So you can one hand this right out of the package. No blade play. It is perfectly centered and really nice finish on the blade. All right, I've never seen this brand before, but I like what I see. Very nice. Excellent. Nice size too for big stupid hands. I could get behind this a lot. I just really like the shape. I'd go, I'd call it more of a, a modified sheep's foot. It's got a little curve to it over there. Second time I dropped this knife. It does not want to stay in my hand. It doesn't like me, but I like it. Maybe we'll be friends one day. Just it one hands really easily right out of the box. That's awesome. Okay, this is definitely gonna get pocket time and carry it and it looks awesome. Okay. So we like that. So the inclusion here brings the total of the premium plan to 177.82. We've only got one thing left in the ultimate, and it's a Wii, so we know it's going to be good. Black Void Opus. Value here is 164.99. We believe that from a Wii because Wiis are expensive. Let me see if we got a. Here we go. And of course, standard Wii pouch. Very nice and fuzzy. Thank you. Celebrating 10th anniversary, okay? Love your knife, share experience. Decent cloth. Nice cloth, but seen better. And then the Wii information. Let's get to the knife. Now it's funny because get all this knife in this size and this is like twice the price and look at how little it is but we has excellent materials and manufacturing great front flipper what kind of blade is this though excellent love the tumble finish on there um, so I'm thinking this is probably titanium with a g10 inlay no soup for you with the clip that's it but very EDC friendly. Black titanium handle, green G10 inlay, stonewash CPM, 20 CV blade. So this thing has, the only step up would be like some carbon fiber there, but it is awesome. Very lightweight. Ooh, little, little touchy getting to that liner lock. Of course, perfectly centered because it's a Wii. Very good fidgety though. And I mean, what a oh, laser beam, sharp, beautiful knife though. And it is a little bit small in my hand, but again, for EDC, you know, what would we expect? And very nice. 
it's drop point, but it's almost spear point looking. So this is really cool. So I'll say once again, I don't pay for this box. Daryl sends me this box so we can check it out and look at it. And this is an awesome box. The knives even, so I love this one. Never heard of this brand. It's a great knife. Can't wait to carry it around and use it. We, of course, always awesome. Um, even the Gerber, I'm not thrilled with it, but I feel like it's not a throwaway either. It's it's a it, it does feel and look a little gas station-ish, but I feel like it has some utility value to it. The shot glass is pretty cool. Um, this, throw it in your pack, even if you're not going to carry it, throw it in a bug-out bag, or just keep it in your gear ready to use. This is always awesome. The dump pouch you can use for many, many things. And the carabiner, sure, find use for it. Um, just clip it on your gear and you'll find a, a use will come to it. So it's not a bad box at all. Um, not a lot of items, but the items are pretty good. So thanks again to Daryl, Monthly Knife Club. Link in the video description, as always. You can go check out just everything they have. They have so many different subscriptions you could look into. But now the really important part, what do you guys think of this month? Favorite item, least favorite item. There are, you know, even, so I know a lot of people are gonna jump to one of the knives as a favorite item, but there are a lot of things you could pick as a favorite item in this box, because there's a lot of good stuff. What about least favorite item? What's the thing you are least likely to use in this box? And uh, did this box make anybody a convert? Are you looking to subscribe now? Let me, let, let me know. So anyway, guys, thanks for having uh, another little fun unboxing time with me definitely in the comments let's talk about all the fun stuff in this box remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome and i appreciate every single one of you and i'll be back again real soon